Today I have a very specific assignment, red papers. So I'm planning a small collage for a, a little 12 by 12 show that I'm entering and it's a red purse. This is something a little bit different I thought would be fun and it's not too far away from what I normally do. It lets me utilize my jelly papers. So I need to do some papers very similar to this. A lot of texture, you know, visual texture, some fine lines. That's that's what the plan is for today. So let's get started. All right, so here I have some very random things that I cut out of Tyvek paper and um, possibly going to use them just to lay down some black ghosts. Um, I want this, this paper will pick up most of the ghost and just leave an outline. At least that's what I'm hoping for. If you could see from this previous print that I made with Tyvek papers, the ghost really was mostly the black line. And, and very little of the actual inner part was left because the paper picked up the paint. So anyway, I want to leave some nice black lines. So let's, let's try to get that kind of an effect. I'm making red papers for a project, um, a 12 by 12 collage. And, um, I just realized this is Nova color black, carbon black, and I didn't add any retarder to it. It's the first time I made a spiral. I don't know why. I made two spirals, so I thought I would use them. That one actually kind of looks like the an at symbol. <laughs> I just want some fine lines to show through and we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm going to use some Yasutomo paper. I have two different kinds. I have one that is, um, or I should say I have three different kinds, but today I'm going to use two different kinds. There's a big uh, tablet, I guess you would call it like a, a book of papers. And that one is each paper is 12 by 18. So I've cut them in, in half. And that's what this is. And then I have purchased another Yasutomo brand. Um, this one's called, um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, it's an 18 inch by 30 foot roll. This paper looks the same to me. So I don't know. I was hoping that maybe it would be a little bit different, but it looks like it's the same. All right. So this is just, I'm just picking up. I should have picked up maybe with deli paper and I'm getting a darker ghost than I was planning. <laughs> Ugh, figures. Um, maybe I used a different kind of paint last time might choose, might try to find another one. I'm going to let this dry um, a little bit and then we'll try to pick up with um, quinacridone red and then we'll put some other layers on top. And I think the next one I'm going to try um, a different black paint and maybe I'll get the outline that I was looking for. Okay, so let's, this paint dries really, really fast, but I think I'm going to wait one more minute, and meanwhile, I'm going to go find some other black paints. Okay, so sometimes, you know, when you do, like, like good luck trying to recreate something you've done before, because it doesn't always work. The conditions aren't the same in the room, maybe. I don't know what kind of paint I was using when I did that one. Um, you know, all kinds of reasons, maybe. I just love this color. Okay, so again, I'm going to use that same paper that's from the paper pad, the Yasutomo 12x12 
12, 12 by 18 pad. And we're gonna leave this for two minutes to dry so that the paint has a chance to really, you know, dry and we can get a nice clean pickup. And then I'm gonna put some stencils over this. So the stencils that I picked, because I want kind of a fat, fine pattern. Um, I have this, this is my cobblestone, and I forget what I call this one. I haven't used it in a while, so I thought it might be good for this. I want small, and maybe the two of them together, overlapping, might be good. I'm probably going to pick up over this. This will be just like a bonus sheet. still feels wet and so another color that I want to so I'm going to do like two shades um, this is a quinacridone two parts quinacridone red one part cadmium yellow and one part white and I made this mixture and I hope I have enough in here I might have to mix up some more so that is what I'm going to layer with this this is more opaque because it has the um, cad yellow and the white mixed in. I should have set my timer. I'm trying to just go by feel. So the other, the other black I'm going to try is the carbon black from uh, Golden Fluid. And I have this, um, somebody lent this to me. It's a dollar store acrylic I'm gonna see let's see if it works because I actually don't want it to work that good I just wanted to leave me that outline all right let's let's see if this is ready to pick up and this might still be beautiful we shall see it's a beautiful color you know Normally, I would love this, but I was going for something specific, figures, right? All right, so let's just keep going with the black for now, and then we'll layer. We'll do the layers later with the, with the stencils. I really want to try to get that outline because it just adds this sort of delicate, contrasty line. And I don't know how else to get that kind of a thing. Let's, let's, I want to, actually, maybe I should put it paint side down. See, that's the thing. It's like when you've got something that's already got paint on it, it's going to pick up. It's going to really, so let's see if that does it. And this time I'm going to pick this up. With deli paper. It's a fun paper. <coughs> I might be on to something here. I think it's, it's still at some places we got the outline. So maybe I have to wait until I get like a buildup of paint. So again, we have to wait for this to dry, but we are getting the much finer. Um, it's a little heavy here. And I could try to go in there and pick it up. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay.
Okay, two minutes. Two minutes to dry. So this, see this is definitely a heavier application. This is getting closer to what we were attempting to do. I'm laying down a thinner coat. I forgot last time I did this with the jelly paper. Because I can see this is not, not even picking up. Jeez. Okay. And this was the um, very thin coat of golden. It must have dried very, very fast. Isn't that, is, isn't that interesting? Okay. And we got the layout. We got the outlines that I wanted, but we also have a very dirty background. But maybe it's okay. So we're going to let that dry. I also like the way this this texture happens. That's part of the Tyvek paper. All right. I'm going to try to push this through. I'm doing something different now, of course. Okay, so after all of that dries, then I will pick it up with, um, Quinacridone red. I'm going to try one from this is from the roll, the Yasutomo that came on a roll. The weight feels exactly the same as the, oh, it's crooked. <laughs> um, feels exactly the same as the other paper that came in the pad, the, what they call sketch paper. But, um, but it's on a roll and it's a different number. And on one side, it looks whiter. Like on the, on the rough side, it looks whiter. Let me see if I can show you that if it'll even 
See how creamy that looks? See how white that looks? But yet on the other side, they look the same. So I'm not really sure how different it is. And this is the first time ever that I am printing with it. So we shall see. This corner doesn't, it doesn't look, see how dark this looks over here? This looks like it's uh, either the paper's thicker here um, or that's not going to pick up. I'm not really sure. I'm going to give it like another minute. It was still feeling wet, so I waited a little bit longer. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm losing some along the edges. But this is for collage. Oh, my goodness. I love it. So I'll be like cutting smaller pieces. I might try some without the without the black. Another thing I was thinking was it might have been Payne's Gray. And Payne's Gray is more translucent than black. So but but that that is like beautiful. Um I wasn't sure if this color was going to make it for me, but it it's working. So I'm thinking of overlaying that same color. I'm really trying to get into all of the openings. Yeah, I like that too. But I do really like the fine lines much better. This is just too dark, but there might be some places in this collage where I need something darker. So now we have a ghost, and I'm going to do something different. I don't think I'm going to lay that on. Ah, uh, why not? <laughs> Let's see. It might already be too dry. I'm going to leave it a, leave it a bit in hopes that it will, that the paint on the paper will grab the paint on the plate. Right now it's not, but maybe if we leave it a little bit. Actually, it is picking up. That's kind of pretty. It left an outline, but that's, that's kind of pretty. All right, so I'm going to go to the Payne's Gray. Let's try Payne's Gray. my spirals so I think I'm going to stick with them. I'm going to pick up this first one. 
with the deli paper because I do get a clean pickup. Especially with gold and fluid paint. It really works well. And normally if I want my ghost to stay dark, I wouldn't rub so much on the actual masks because I'd want to keep as much of that ghost as possible. But in this case, we just want the outline. Oh, what a fun deli sheet because we had that orange. Wow, that is fun. Okay, let's see. Yes, we got nice paint. See, that's what it was. I have a feeling that was not black paint. It must have been the paint gray, which is already a little bit transparent. We have nice thin lines like I wanted. Um, we're going to let it dry for just a bit. And I'm going to, I think what really worked out nicely was laying down this uh, warmer, lighter red first. And then picking up with the uh, quinacridone red. And then I might reverse it on one of them because I do need some highlight areas. Okay, this is dry. All right, so I'm going to push again, push the paint through the stencil again because that worked out well. Hopefully I have enough of this color to get me through this session because tomorrow I want, oops, I want to start that collage. As you can see, I've given up on trying to keep my desk clean. And maybe I want to try something a little bit different just because maybe I don't want all the papers to be the same. So maybe I want something with a bigger pattern. I don't know. But while I'm just going to keep going. <laughs>
so this was I think the very first one that I did that's why it's really really dark because we were using um, I was using the Nova color paint and it was black carbon black so it was more of it was sticking to the plate even though we were using Tyvek paper but I love the layering that happened with the cobblestone stencil in this other color, this lighter color that I mixed up. And my mixture, where is it? Oh, here it is, hiding. It was quinacridone, two parts quinacridone red, one part cadmium yellow, and one part white. And it was just, you know, a little bit of a color shift. A little bit lighter, a little bit warmer. Um, makes a great compliment. So then we picked up the ghost over the other one. Also very heavy on the on the background. This one might, might have been the very first one. It's also fun. Maybe I can use it, some of it. We'll, we'll see when I do the collage. Um, now we're getting lighter. This was the other, I think this was the still black, but the um, golden black. So we, we got a lighter ghost, which is what I was going for. I like this one a lot. But now we've got even lighter ghost. Now we switch to the Payne's Gray, which was translucent anyway. And some nice layering here. This one also, we started with the lighter background. We layered the straight quinacridone red on top of that. Beautiful. I love how we picked up a little bit of Indian yellow in here. And then I decided, you know, I did another one like that um, using the cobblestone this time and then overlaid white fine lines. And how fun is that? So when I have a highlight area and I need something really light, I will be able to pick from here. I think it'll be really nice. And even just to have this little line going through. Wow. Um, okay, here's our bonus, bonus papers. This is what I love about every session. I get these great bonus papers that you could see through. Some of them are just straight pickups like these. There's another, this one has a really nice dark background. But then like second and third pickup on that one, like a little bit lighter. But look at how, how subtle that is. And we've got the line again. So these kinds of things, when added to a, to a collage, can really make things exciting, especially since it's transparent. A fun transparent one is to have, you know, like this very opaque white with a little bit of uh, the quinacridone mixed in with it to make a nice pink. And this, this will be a nice overlay. And then I got two of these because I needed to pick up a ghost. And that, that was my bonus. I guess that was it for my bonus. My favorite of the bonus papers was this one for sure. And my favorite is this one. But, well, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I also love this one. So these two are my favorite. Thank you for stopping by today and thanks for watching. I had a really good time making these papers. I hope you had a good time watching. And, uh, you know, definitely try some Tyvek paper if, if you can get your hands on some. I got a package the other day and and inside the package, it was like in a bubble wrap thing from Amazon, but inside of that, it was, the box was wrapped up in a Tyvek paper or Tyvek envelope that was actually, I think, from the post office. So you can get them at the post office. I don't know if they charge you for them or not. I think FedEx. Anyway, you could find Tyvek also on Amazon. But it's a lot of fun to play with, to cut your own stencils. Why not? and uh, it makes some good results. So I'll see you next time. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share. Bye-bye.